this is probably one of the best schools I've ever gone to. Hello, I may just see. I'm about to play a game of Planet Coaster, which I've seen Ethan G play. Check out his channel. I'm gonna stream it now, so you'll see me, my face go onto the side of the screen. I'm gonna play it for about 10 minutes, then I'll have to pause it and then re carry on later. But, uh, Let's go. It's all. I'll let you know when it's starting. Just setting it all up now. While you're waiting, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And here we go. Uh, There you go, you're on. Okay, so we've got three options, career, sandbox, and challenge. Oh, I'll be doing the sandbox because that's like, it's like free rounds. Literally, you get everything at the start. I like more of a challenge. So we'll go for a career. Uh, let's have a go at the tutorial because I've never played this game before. Let's go. You can improve the time it takes to load and unload guests by moving the void entrance and exit. Like I say, I've seen one of Ethan G's videos. He did a video on this and he was having trouble with the entrance and exit. So, hopefully, I can do better. He actually turned his. Uh, Fairground into a mountain in the end, but um, that was his idea. <coughs> After the loading screen, don't take too long. Oh my, oh my, is that a budding theme park proprietor I see before me? I certainly hope so. Otherwise, you're in quite the wrong place, and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park empresario. And I am here to help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. Because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. A charming little park, which, as yet, has not fulfilled its undoubted potential. A park where you will begin to hone your okay. skills. So, welcome to Plank Coaster. These are the key steps to creating spectacular coaster parks, build roads, attract guests, charge guests for using the roads, shops, facilities, use profits to expand and build even more roads. Yeah. So, first things first, you should learn how to navigate around the park, moving, rotating, zooming, almost as if you were riding a roller coaster. A massive, invisible roller coaster. Now we've got to zoom and zoom out, and zoom in, zoom out, and zoom in. There we go. Look at that! You've completed an objective. Objectives are a bit like bosses. They tell you what you need to do, earn more money than you, and drive a sports car. No, that's not right. Anyway, how about completing another objective? Maybe. Uh, if I could 
butt in and make a suggestion? How about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? Why is it even closed? Oh, hello, Lucy. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. She's got almost 800 followers. You know, online, not in a cult. Hi there. And it's 900, but who's counting? So, the ride? Ah, yes. Opening ride. Go on, select the ride. Select the ride, aye. Good. And now, open the ride. You did it with such gusto. Well done. And now that we have such an adorable, gentle ride open, more guests, especially families, will soon be flooding into the park. You know, you could turn that flood into a bigger flood. This place just needs something a bit more thrilling. Well, if people want thrills, then we'll give them thrills. And probably nausea. Head over to the highlighted area. I think it'll make an excellent location for a ride, but let's ask our head engineer, Eugene. Greetings, Eugene Newton. Good to make your acquaintance. And yes, Mr. Thompson, I think it will do nicely. The proximity to existing infrastructure appears nominal, so guests should be able to achieve both entry and exit with minimal difficulty. New rides can be found in the Void Browser. Don't forget, once built, a ride needs both an entrance and an exit. Once the exit and entrance have been connected to the rest of the park, the guests will be able to avoid it. So, if you would start by clearing the highlighted area of any obstructions, please. And do not fret, those items will automatically be sold, so we will get at least some of the purchase price back. I thought he was going to finish to talking. about the radial menu. The radial menu gives you fast access to commonly used actions. Please note that the options available in the radial menu will change depending on the mode okay. you're in. Okay. He should now. Right. As I said, right, this is only a short video. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to pause right there. When I come back, I'm going to unpause. I need to um, go and eat some food. And then I'll be right back on this video. See you in a bit. Um, yeah, my camera's still on, but I will see you in a bit. Um, see ya. Hello, I'm back. Just had myself some chicken burgers. Now to return to the. Um... Don't do it again. Come on. I'm having uh, technical issues. Sorry, guys. I'm going to get the Planet Coaster back on the top corner of the screen. No, sorry. Back in the middle of the screen. I'm going in the top corner of the screen. <laughs> uh, should be on any second now. There you go. All right, we're back. So... We need to delete these. Things down here, so. Okay, we've got to, got to use the bulldozer. I'm in trouble here, but yeah. What?
Maybe it's, oh yeah, there you go. It's because I was in that menu. I knew there was something wrong. And this box here. Uh, Very good. good. I've already chosen a suitably thing for you, so if you would care to select it. I'd rather select a void, thank you. Fine. <laughs> and place it in the desert area. Um. So I can't put it over there. Now, it's very important that when you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a right. Right. Let's get closer, find out where the entrance is. There's the entrance. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got to put exit as well. Um, can't go that way, can I? I'll put it there. Right, right. Next up, connect right the pump so people can reach it. Okay, let me do it then. Away. Now, that queue you're building is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Too uneven. Very good. And now you should build a path from the rest of the park. For that, you can simply use normal paths. And if you do find any obstacles or obstructions in your way, you can build slopes or stairs in the path to get over them. Open the ride. No, no, that's not how you do it, is it? Apologies, I meant. And finally, you can open the ride. That now, I've got to open the ride. Sorry, I was a bit quiet. I was concentrating. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's more like it. You're going to get way more teenagers like me and my followers visiting the park now. Ah, oh, don't you just love teenagers? So much disposable ink. Cynthia! Cynthia! <laughs> Please, allow me to introduce... Cynthia Clark, Chief Financial Officer. It's my job to make sure these places turn a profit. Speaking of which, thanks to that new ride, the park's rating has gone up. You know that means... More money. Cake? We can start charging the game for money. <sighs> okay, very well. Evil, I suppose. Guess think Magic Castle is cheap, so... <laughs> Evil. See that notification? Even the guests think we're undercharging them. Let's do them a favour and fix that. That's right. Take a good look at the notification. It'll tell you what we need Art to alter management. the prices of. Right, attraction, notification. Oh, look. That's a friendly little ride of ours. Go on, put the ticket prices up by a few dollars. That seems a wee bit steep. Oh, honestly, Oswald, the people visiting this park aren't just getting to ride rides. They're getting to precious memories. So if we put the up, 
are making those memories even more precious, aren't we? No. That actually makes sense. Wait. No, it doesn't. Lower ticket prices make guests happy. I know we're in the happiness business, Oswald, but we're also in the staying in business business. So, what do I have to do? <laughs> Edit building. Right. Attractions, roids, magic castle, increase, increase price. I'll put it to ten. Oh, yeah, she wants it eleven. But yeah. Look, if you're so worried, why don't we have your new select a few guests and see what they're thinking, eh? Underling, indeed. They're a trainee and they have a name. Although I just realized. Right. Uh, yeah. Inspect free guest force. So, Eddie, do that. Select a guest. Let's choose that one. That, that one. Ooh, See, free entry. That guest is too put off by the higher price. Yes, yes, but their happiness is our bread and butter. Oh, it's important to regularly check what the guests are thinking. I might come back to Magic Castle another time. Now, let's check someone who's here. I wish this park had a drink shop. And now, uh, let's pick this old lady here. There's not a lot to do here. Anything to worry about there. Let's just hit fast forward, sit back, and let the money roll in for a while. At least until we've made a healthy profit. Game. So I've got to fast forward. Um. Excellent. So, well, wait. I've got to fast forward now until I get to um, 500. Well done on hitting Cynthia's profit forecast. Honestly, I'm worried it was hard. But as always, she knows just how hard to squeeze the wallet. Anyway, made some money. Make some improvements. Oh, but don't forget to slow things back down to normal speed again. After it's all, it's not a good idea to build a park on fast forward. You might miss out on an important notification, or a ride breaking down, or a favourite.
coming or heaven forbid my birth <laughs> Anyway, and my congratulations! Birthday. You've just earned yourself the first of many, I don't doubt. All right, it's high time we talked about taking care of guests. We want those guests to be happy, happy, happy. Ooh. Ooh. You planning on making improvements? That's good. Did you like to say? But part of the piece looks like the theme park that I forgot. So, if you want to go I'll take things from here for a while. Actually, Lucy, <coughs> I was about to say... Scoot, scoot. Okay, first things first. So how I feel about the park, let's see how one of the other guests is feeling. Go on, select one of the guests to see how happy they are. Now, that level of happiness might be good enough for most folks, but this guest would be a bit happier if a big chunk of the park wasn't super lame. Don't worry, it's not your fault. That's Mr. Thompson. Mm. I hardly think that's fair. <clears throat> Don't forget to immerse your guests in magnificent surroundings. You can place items from the s scenery browser to improve guest happiness. In your park rides additionally improve the cute scenery of a ride will increase that ride prestige uh, if you want to build your own scenery creations piece by piece you can explore the create browser I've hit it so go on stick down some scenery make it go piratey so, um, what have we got to do? Oh, yeah. I guess love having interesting things to look at. Cheers us right up. Right. So, we've got some pirate stuff here we could put there. So, let's, um, let's figure out where to put it. We want to keep it all close because the, the entrance is here. Oh, she wants it in there. Hang on. Let's not get carried away. I gotta get rid of these and get out. Alright, so back to them. So I've got face in there, like that. Pirate treasure. Have that round about there. And the pirate skull rock. Why not have that? It actually looks a bit. Have it there, why not? Is a bit nicer. Uh, I don't believe I said unscoot yet, did I? So, another place it's super important to put scenery is around the ride queues. <gasps> Ooh, you know what? We should put both of your rides so we can see the difference. Go and like that first ride you opened, would Uh, this one. Oh, I got a magic castle. Hmm. That wore the first ride. 
you see how it's got a high Q scenery rating? Because of that, rides prestige is higher too. Us guests are way less interested in rides with boring cues, and so we won't pay as much to ride them. Right, we'll go and have a look at that new ride you built. It's not nearly as prestigious as it could be, but you can fix that by giving us some can to look at while we wait. Go on, stick some nice scenery down around the queue. So, let's have a look. Let's put some flowers down. Darnie. Let's have a look at the ride. Yay! And now, she wants me to put the ticket price up to 13. It's extortion, that is. $13. Park's scenery rating. I think you might have. Yes, yeah, you have. You've raised the overall park rating. Drawn park. Heavens! What an important number, eh? How popular theme park is depends on its park rating. Each park has a park rating based on its overall quality. A higher park rating means you'll attract more guests, and those guests will also stay for longer. The main factors which count towards your park rating are ride scenery and average guest happiness. Right, right. It's time to look at the park rating down. It's a great way to track how your park is improving. <laughs> um, right, inspect park rating budget. Park management. Park options. That's it. In here, you can see how your overall ride and scenery ratings and guest happiness are critical to improving your park rating. And remember, the better your park, the more guests who will come and visit. So, let's get that scenery rating even higher, eh? Make the whole park Wonderful as those rides bruised up. Go on, get decorating. Hello again. I just noticed that you were using the scenery to decorate the park. I actually built those blueprints myself, so I'm very happy that you're using them. You can actually find the scenery elements, ones I used to build those blueprints, by looking under the Create browser. Want to? But. Uh, as I mentioned, I did go to the trouble of painstaking handcraft literally hundreds of them for you, so, you know. Okay. <laughs> I do talk a lot. Raise park scenery rated to 50. So, I've got to put more scenery. Let's put these um, bottles in random places like um, um, 
Where's the entrance again? Right. Maybe around here. <clears throat> Fairy tale archways. How come that I gonna <laughs> I do good then? Oh man. Oh, what else there is? Flower store. Let's stick that. this or market stores <coughs> that here oh that, that took it up to 44 What else we got? That's uh, quite small, so I'll stick that there. I'll just... No, I'll stick another one on this side. That looks symmetrical. Oh, that took it up to forty-seven. Um. I only want beautiful stuff. <laughs> stuff that I think is nice. <coughs> oh, a dragon. You get a dragon here. It's a bit hard to go straight. Um. New art house, holy bit. Oh, yeah, okay. That's better. Goodness, your transformation of the park has really come a good few notches, my friend. And look at all the guests, happily smiling away. And you know what they say about happy. They like spending money. Oh, is <laughs> cash with you, Cynthia? No, I also tox and share. <laughs> anyway, guests have needs which can affect their habits. So, let's take a look at some of them. Yes, let's. Right. If you want to find out what us guests need, one way is by looking at the guests' management. Go on, open it. This is where you can see what the average guest needs are in the park, as well as most the guests. It's weird. I really should think of this thing as a massive invasion of privacy, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Yeesh. 
It looks like a lot of the guest thoughts are about how the book is missing important facilities. Hmm. Okay, the food. According to the guest staff, we're hungry. I was wondering what that empty feeling in my stomach was. So go on, build a food shop for us. Right. Facilities. So I'll we'll find somewhere to put a shop. And let's stick it. That I'll use all my spice. I really got much space left. Can I stick it over here? Yeah. Use this area for food. That's the food sorted, but a bunch of us get were also really tasty. So you should have to build some drink shops. A a word word somewhere busy, so we get the best return on our investment. Sorry, I mean, best of our guests' needs, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Real thing. Shop vendors don't work for free. We have to turn off it. And then we'll stick a gulpy solder. Um, stick that on this corner. Somewhere. Yeah. So it's about some empty gulpy solder. About time. My blood sugar was all down to <clears> the <throat> level. If you want to make sure that you've got all our needs licked, you can look at the guest needs screen again. Personally, I am absolutely stuffed with food and drink, so I'm good. No. All that food and drink means we have a press need to attend to. Yeah. Really pressing? Build a toilet for the guests. What? A whole toilet? You're spoiling us, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> so, toilet's next. Right. Since the food and the drinks are all in this area, it's only um, a good idea if we have the toilets nearby. <sighs> you know, toilets are great, but it'd be nice if us guests had somewhere else to sit down too. Oh, yes. Go on. Pop down some benches. You see, guests are a lot like cellular phones. Every so often they need to charge their batteries. So you should plug them in and... Not right. A barrel bench? Ooh, cool. We've got the palace thrones or the village art bench. And they're all the same price. Hmm. Let's go for the barrel bench first. I'd say first. Yeah. Well, I actually think you made a point there. Come around where the food places are because you don't really want to be walking about eating, do you? There's a food place over there as well. Only 
your guests can fulfill their needs in the park, they're less likely to become unhappy, which is great. But as more guests come here, you'll need even more facilities to deal with their needs. What? One toilet? No! It's quite a lot to think about, isn't it? Plus, the park's getting a bit more complex. I start to see problems popping up. I think we should look at some staff. Keep everything running smoothly. So, uh, not to stop Speaking of problems, <laughs> can we do something about all the litter? It's piling up and really bump guests out. Maybe we could hire some janitors to keep on top of it. <sighs> okay. So, we're gonna get a janitor. Right. I'm gonna stick him here next to the food shop. I'll be on two. So I'll stick the other one over here then, next to this food shop. Thanks for that. Oops, litter wouldn't be such a problem if Mr. Thompson had remembered to put some bins. <clears throat> that was deliberate, so we could all have a learning moment. Yeah. If you would please put some bins down, your new janitors Obviously, will make sure they're kept. Bins are better. <laughs> yeah, good on the say. next two benches. So now I remember where I put all the benches. Do you want the matching bins with the matching bench? Like that. And there's one more. There's a lot of noise when I'm moving about though. There you go. Alright. Oh no! A road's broken down. Me. One of the broken down. How could this happen in one of my parks? Alright. On the ride and in the queue is getting a refund. <gasps> Refunds? Quick, hire a mechanic. We need to fix that ride and get money flowing in the right direction. Oh, and make the guests happy, etc. So, back to the staff. And we're going to get a mechanic. Why don't I just stick him out so we ain't going to walk too far. I'm sure our new mechanic will fix it in no time at all. <laughs> Not without breaking the space, and they won't. <laughs> uh. So we just got to whack for this guy. You might want to consider speeding up time for a while. So we've got to speed it up so they can fix the road. Well, now that our emergency has been dealt with, the mechanic can spend time inspecting the rides and reduce another breakdown. Now, I think it's high time you built a staff room for our staff so that they can have a bit of a break. The range has started, they want a break already. I mean, do they really need to? Mm. Yes, you see, staff are a lot like cellular phones. No, wait, I've tried that one before. Anyway, just like guests, staff members get tired as well. At two they simply won't be able to work. Staff rooms are where they get energy back. And now that we have a staff, vendors in our shops will take breaks too. So, you should hire some extra vendors to fill in. So now I'll we'll hire more staff. Need two vendors. Let's do one. I don't know. Over here. 
Oh, this side. Gosh, you've got so many people working for you. There might not be enough space in the staff room anymore. You'd better go to the staff room just in case. So go, 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 I do. We've been. How do you do that? I've got staff building with it past here at least for How do you do that? I don't think that's anything to do with <laughs> oh, it. There you go. Yes. Look at you! Oh, you're a born manager. Congratulations. <laughs> Pretty soon, we'll be hiring entertainers, the spirits of your guests, and hiring security guards. Pockets and ne'er do wells, and partly to stop Lucy constantly cutting in line. You can worry about all of that in your own time, though. Hey, goodness, just look at how you've grown the park. Like they say about tiny acorns, don't eat them. No, that's not it. Just time for a few final management lessons before I let you loose on the world. You can use the park management screen to monitor your park. This will show you where the park is losing and making money attraction and shops. Here you can see how the attractions and shops are performing. You can use the staff to check up on the happiness and workload of your staff. Research. You can invest in research to gain access to new attractions, facilities, and scenery objects. Now, these first few of the last few lessons will <coughs> mostly be focusing on finance. Which is why I'll be handling them. You can get started by looking at the overall finances in the oh, finance uh, section of park management. Oh, yeah. Come on, money's a wasting. Inspect finance panel. Ah, this is my happy place. Just look at all those fiscals. <coughs> you can get a very solid idea of how your park's finances are doing here. And looking at it, your rides are doing well. But I think your shops could be doing... Open up the attractions and shops panel. Shops. As you can see, this section gives you an overview of how your shops and facilities are doing. Ah, and as I thought, you could definitely stand to raise your food and drink prices by a half dollar or so. Happy guests don't mind a little extra. You can also raise the prices of ATMs, toilets, even the first facilities. It is a good idea not to get too greedy. Just greedy enough. Oh. So I'm going to try and make some money on this. Raise the price of three items in shop for at least fifty p. Okay. 
right so let's get back to that see where else we're losing money obviously the staff room you can't really uh, do nothing about the staff room or the uh, toilet blocks can you but I'm going to be like one of those people who charge 20 pence to use a toilet. <clears throat> I'll put one of the posts up on the slushy then. Yes. I'll put them all up to seven if we're going. A lottery win, but we are seeing a bit more profit, which means. Interrupt you for what? We should put some of that money into researching a roller coaster. After all, it's eventually tire of old rides. So putting money into ride research is essential if you want to keep a park fresh or expand it. <laughs> My yes. You should begin research at once. Research a coaster. So now I'm going to research. New research. Coaster. Now that the research is in hand, we should take a look at the staff again. Because their happiness is just as important as the guests' happiness. Go on, take a look at your list. All stuff. Good. Good. See, if a staff member is unhappy, they won't be as effective at their job. And if they're really unhappy, they might even quit entirely. Anyway, I think it's high time to staff a raise, don't you? No. I was excited at you, Cynthia. So, check if any of your staff members aren't as happy. And if so, bump the wages up to. So what? What is what is your increase of salary? Okay. All staff, let's have a look. Um. I'm getting a bit of pain. Sorry, guys. I'll put it by five. There, that's a start. Now, if a staff member's load is too high, it means that they aren't able to keep on top of all their duties, which will make them unhappy. One way around that is hiring more staff. But. A more efficient way to deal with it is through staff training. With your staff. So now we go to training. <clears throat> Once you've chosen who to train, soon toddle off to the staff building to receive the training and complimentary donuts. Why not? Yes. Oh, yes. You clearly know how to care for your staff. Now that you've addressed the wages, work, and training, they'll be showering you boss mugs in no time. And that means to let to back. Building. Building. Roller coaster. Oh, my, oh, my. They're expensive things, but a theme park isn't a theme park without one. Take it away. Take it away. Let's go. Take what away. Oh, I understand. If you could reveal newly researched coaster blueprint, please. Hopefully, you can still see me because I'm leaning back a bit because my back's hurting, sitting like that. I'm getting old. 
reveal research. Yay, you make an arrow. That's needlessly over the top. Oh, that's quite an exciting new coaster. That could easily hit 0.2 on the YouTube thrill rating scale. And now that you have a new coaster type, you can place coaster buttons or even build a coaster for match. But you should probably before you run. Now, open the browser and select print. Here's the money. Think of it as tip. And place it in a suitable location. Must feel so proud. I'm going my way. I'm gonna ride that thing. Sorry, not yet. It we are not. To make sure it's entrance. Fabricated blueprint, right? And build coasters from scratch. Think go. Okay, when you connect the box, you can open the coaster. Eugene! Again, a pop. The coaster! Oh, I've made a right mess of this. Uh, how do you delete things now? Ah. Right. Right, there you go. I'll do. Coaster! You're not done yet. You should adorn the track with plenty of wonderful scenery. Give the guests something exciting and unique to see as they whiz around those twists and turns. Of course, scenery will also prove a prestige. Cute and tonics. It's effective, although they will incur running costs. Of course, there's all those wonderful scenery blueprints that Eugene for you. Indeed, I overstate how long it took me to make this for you. Inside. Oh, 
customize it. That looks nice, but it's not going to let me do it, is it? Okay. We'll forget that then. Um, <laughs> try a pirate archway, let's have a look. We can get it over. Yes. That is fantastic the way it just goes over the uh, roller coaster that's brilliant that is Nice. And what else have we got? <sighs> Dow fit proper, does he? Oh well. I don't think there's anything else. Ghosty. Will you look at that? Are you sure you haven't done this before? We should mortalize your coaster by saving it as a blueprint. Okay, okay, okay. so you need to multi select everything you want to include in your blueprint. Go on. So I've got to select the roller coaster. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God. Auto select coaster. I'm trying to get the angle right here. Oh, okay. So... No. 
Go and create a blueprint, and you'll be able to make as many as you like, or at least afford. Oh, don't forget to give your blueprint a good name and an exciting screenshot, and shoot at any tags you want to it, so you can find it easy. Um, we'll call it IDC Games Blueprint. Um. <laughs> now you've made a blueprint, Aye. you'll find it in the coasters browser. <coughs> but there's somewhere even more exciting the workshop. You see, blueprints are a lot like sandwiches. You can share them with other people, and they contain. No, that's not it. But just imagine it, <coughs> sharing your blueprints with the world. With the world sharing what they like. That's what the workshop can do for you. Whew. <laughs> that was a lot of work, wasn't it? I think it's time you enjoyed the fruit of your labors by writing your quarter, don't you? Go on. Select it and get on. This will be the end of the video anyway. I mean, so let's get on. Why not? Let's have a nice look at this roller coaster before we end this video. Get on, guys. You can get off the coaster whenever you like. You know, just in case you're feeling a little bit wobbly in the tum. -tum. <laughs> now I wanna wanna see the old things. We're gonna see the old thing before the end of this video, are we guys? Put the safety on and so on and let's go. Yeah. <coughs> We're giving up guys. Even so, I think you're ready to have no doubt illustrious in power management. What wonders news. Because it means you can start paying back the time and effort that Oswald invested in you. And if you would let me, I would do it. Interesting. the coast from the ground up. Oh, sound down if you're Iranian. And I'm gonna tag along because my season pass anyway oh and to watch you uh, grow obviously 
So. Not that you have already. Just look at this park. At your park. Book. Happy guests. Making precious but reasonable memories. You should be proud of yourself. But this is just the start. Are you ready for the next yes. step? Yes. I am. I actually enjoy games like this. I used to play uh, Theme Park World. Anybody ever heard of Theme Park World? It used to be on the PlayStation 1 originally. And I used to love that game. So that's, that's why I decided to play this. So we are going to play the second theme park on another video because I, I am enjoying this. Um, I'm going to cut this down. I need to do, you to do me one favour. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I can actually see my face now. It's hard, it's hard when I'm recording the, the Xbox because I can't actually see my face. Even though it's recording my face, I, I can only see the Xbox being recorded. So I don't know whether my edge is too high or my edge is too low. So I'll just use that. This, the only reason why I've started doing this cam off the laptop is because I've had problems with my audio on the mic. This allows me to talk to you guys while I'm playing the game. <coughs> this video has actually gone on for an hour, which I didn't even realise it got on for that long. So this is a half an hour video. But um, I'm going to do more videos, more, more, hopefully not an hour long. Because uh, the longer the video, the less likely you're going to watch it all anyway. I want you to like and subscribe and the notification bell i am going to do a lot more videos very soon so see you next time bye